Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will see how we can use CSV and Keyclock REST API to automate user registration process. Let's start. So in my last video, I have shown you how you can add uh, users or manage users in Keyclock via four different ways. You can check the link to uh, get the video. Okay, so we are now in the Keyclock and we can see we just have this one admin user. If I click on view all users, there are no other users. So let's see how we can use a CSV file and a key clock REST APIs to add more users to it. So yeah, so this is my users.csv where I have listed first name, last name, email, mobile, email verified. Okay, demo user 1, demo user 2, demo user 3, demo user 4. And similarly, you can have n number of users. Okay, let's go to our uh, import users kc.py. So basically, it's a sample script to add users to Keyclock via CSV. So what you need for this, you need to have like import CSV because we are going to read CSV files. We are need to import request because uh, for calling the Keyclock APIs and we'll need to play with JSON as well. Okay, so first step is to get the token. So, because all these APIs would be requiring a authorization bearer token, okay. So, we'll uh, get the token from the this realm, master realm, okay, or whatever realm you are using. For example, I am right now I am adding users to the master realm, that's why I am getting the access token for master, okay. Next, and one noticeable thing over here is the this context slash auth. So for normal key clock or traditional key clock, which is running over the wildfly, we use slash auth as the context path. Okay. But on the other hand, you can see we have key clock X, which is not using any auth uh, context. Directly, we can see a slash admin here. So this is one noticeable thing. And uh, from my last video, I got a comment. From one of my tube mate he want to add users via csv so that's why i made this video and when i have given the script right because i was working on key clock x so i use this one and that tube mate was using key clock that is key clock 15 as well okay so there he was facing issues because uh, once you get the token and and here i am retrieving the token uh right so json dot loads response dot txt and i am taking the access token so because this uh, call was failing so that's why this was throwing exception because of this okay so this is the one noticeable feature you need to take care that you need to for key clock x no need of adding the auth context in the context path and for traditional key clock you need to use the auth okay so first step is your access token url and then next is like we will be using admin credentials so you need to change the username password accordingly as per you have set right so payload is client id it is i am using admin cli username i am using my username password and grant type will be password to get the token okay and this is again i am setting the headers for content type then <clears throat> from the response right so we are using request to request a post call and we have provided access token url and headers i have provided along with data for the post body so on the response we are fetching the access token from the response okay so here i am printing this is the access token now second part is the add user url where we are, uh, this is the URL which we will be using for adding the users. Okay. Again, same thing auth and no auth in import case users uh, for key clock X. Okay. Here it is again uh, the simple thing, right? We are using uh, opening the users.csv, right? And we have used dict reader so that we are uh, segregating the headers name. Okay. So again, so for adding user, we are passing the payload where username I am fetching from the user first name field 
then uh, first name from again first name then last name from last name and email id accordingly so this is i am just creating the payload and this is the headers so header i will be need, needing authorization header with bearer and access token we retrieved from here okay and content type application slideization now from the response if the response is status code 201 that means a user edit successfully otherwise if user is already existing 409 so this is just a sample script you can handle more uh, response codes or the status codes okay so this is the basic script which we are using so now let's try to run this script python import users kc.py so as i am mentioning one of my tube mate like he was using key clock 15 so for that i have downloaded key clock 15 and i am running it on my local system okay so i am currently using traditional key clock okay so that's why import users kc.py and if you are using key clock x so we have one more script called kcx both of these script as well as the uh, sample uh, csv file are present in the github repo and you can find the github repo in the description of the video so now it is retrieving the access token here is the access token it has retrieved demo user 1 as user edit successfully user 2 edit successfully user 3 edit successfully user 4 now the process is complete so let's check in key clock whether users are edited or not yeah perfect so we are having all the four users over here if i go to here then i can see i have user enabled true that is now user is enabled last name is updated first name updated all the fields that i have given are updated now let's move to credentials thing here you can see it has set the password as well so for checking it let's try to log in with demo user one okay so demo user one password i have given password yeah so you can see i am able to log in successfully so this is how you can add more users to keyclock via automated manner using this script okay so you are not limited to only just python you can use any of your language the process will remain the same first thing first you need to get the token for invoking the api once you have got the token you need to read the csv file row by row right for every row you need to create a payload for adding a user right and then the third step would be to call the api to uh, add the user okay so that's it for this video if you want any further information related to it you can comment on this video and also if you want to see more video like this just put it in comment so that i can uh, bring new videos on this topic or on topics related to key club thanks a lot for watching this video if you like the content of the video please subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks a lot bye bye